chicks, man. Lots of chicks. Hello, good people. Tim Gilbrook here with another beginner acoustic guitar lesson. Now, this one's a little harder because I'm going to use open chords and change to a bar chord. So what I'm going to describe the chords here first, and you can go to nextlevelguitar.com if you want to see the chords one by one. We have those, uh, where to put your fingers and so forth. So that's there for you for free. Go to the chord library. So we're going to start with an A minor. We're going to go to C. And that's a fairly easy change. You can just slide your third finger up from uh, the second fret to the third fret, fifth string. A minor, C, D minor, F bar chord, and then E. That's a chord progression for the whole, the whole what I'm going to show you here. But what the kind of cool part is, there's a half, it's a half strum or half measure on on this F bar chord to the E major open chord. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to go down picks to, to start and then we're going to look at a strum pattern. But just we're going to go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Go to the F bar chord, one, two, E major, one, two. Okay, that's the key concept on this that makes it cool, this chord progression and I'll, I'll mix it up a little more, but again, it's, you could, we'll put whatever strum pattern you want on here, but just to, to get the timing and the feel of this chord progression, when you go from the F to the E, you're gonna go one, two, one, two. So let's do, uh, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, that's A minor, C. One, two, three, four, D minor, one, two, three, four, F bar chord, one, two, E major, one, two, back to A minor, okay? So that's it, A minor, C, D minor, F bar chord to E open, E major. So that's the whole chord progression that you can roll over and over. Now what I'm going to do now, uh, we're just going to do without playing any uh, chords, we're gonna get the, the vibe of this uh, rhythm. And you're gonna start, it's just up down, but the ex, you're accenting on the first down, and that kind of gives a whole vibe for it. So we're going up down. It starts up down, up down, up down. And on this third and fourth up down, you're just kinda, I'm kinda going about halfway up the string, so it's like a, a shortened version. So we're going up down, 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 up down. So it's just up down, but what makes the vibe is your spacing on either spacing and accent accentuating that first down. So it's up down, 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 up down. See the cool part is you, the F to the E major gives the whole vibe for this progression. So that's what you kind of want to work on. If you just want to work, start up with straight downs like I did, you know that's fine. And then you could mix in up down is is a pretty simple. Uh, but again, you're you're accentuating the down, but it's an up down. It's that kind of strum pattern you haven't seen a lot, but it's it's a good good little vibe and it's a fast pace. Oh no. So hope you enjoyed that. Here's a little song I wrote for my little dog and uh, you might enjoy it or maybe not. We'll see. My attention, she got so brave, didn't follow my plan or my directions. It's not what good dogs do. Wrecking the neighbor's lawn, did what bad pups do. She made a bad decision She dug some holes just to try it Hope my neighbors don't mind it She dug some holes just to try it Hope my neighbors don't mind it The holes were deep, it's just not right She might be in the pound tonight She dug some holes just to try it 
try it. Yeah, rock on.